Hi, Bill here. I'd like to show you a game I had against the chess engine Houdini. It's a fairly fast time limit, in which um, I drew. Okay, I was white. Open v4. Houdini chose the French. So, um, Houdini's picking openings at random, pretty much. d4, d5, normal French. Play the exchange. Which has the reputation of being more drawish than the other lines, so very balanced pawn structure. Bring the knight to the best square. Dini copies. Now, would have been more dangerous to me if um if Houdini had, for example, played asymmetrically in Castle Queenside, but uh it's much easier to hold the position in a uh, symmetrical position usually. Well, especially if you're white. Bishop to the best square, bishop to the best square. Now with the um, e-file open, I want to get castle pretty quickly. Castle, castle. So complete symmetry, black is just copying white. Okay, so c3. Not entirely necessary, I could have played um, bishop g5 or rook e1. c6. So black continues with the symmetry. Bishop pins the knight. Yeah, oh, Houdini breaks the symmetry. So it doesn't bring the bishop out. Queen out, threatening to take the pawn on h7 or check because the knight is pinned to the queen. So, black moves the pawn. I'll treat the bishop, but I don't want to give him up my two bishops. Okay. Black moves the queen to the same square as white did. Knight out. Knight g4 hitting the uh, h4. I've got a bit of a choice here. I could either move this forward or move the bishop back. So I move the bishop back. Let's swap those pieces off. The pro problem is if I um, hit the knight, the knight goes back. My bishop's got no squares. Okay, so put the bishop back. He took. Of course, can't take that way. There's going to be a knight fork, so I've got to take towards the centre. With the slight drawback, it's just not just knight. I have to play f3, which weakens me, weakens my king side a little. Moves the knight to a better square, opens up the bishop. So it's still a very balanced position. Look to the single open file. Bishop comes out. Knight goes back. I want to go to either here or here and challenge that knight. Look to open file. Knight challenges knight. Knight moves back. Hmm. Quite sure why I'd like that. Rook starts doubling on the open file. Knight takes knight. A rook takes knight. Rook starts doubling. Doubles rooks. Doubles rooks. This bishop is slightly worse than this, but doesn't really count for much in this position. Knight to the centre. Knight takes knight. Now yeah, I could take with a pawn and not have more space on the uh, king side. But that would give black a mobile majority on the queen side. The bishop's controlling this diagonal, which yeah, if, if I um, took here, might make it hard to uh, to expand on the king side. Okay, so in any case, I want to keep the position balanced, so I took with the rook. Queen moves to a slightly better square. Queen, queen lines up on the e-file, pinning this bishop to the rook. So there's not much in it now. Okay, pawn went up. Bit of a waiting game here. Queen moves up one square. King defends the pawn. So, my pieces are pretty much on the best squares. Pawn moves will just tend to weaken my position. Nowhere to move my king, so I'm just playing a waiting game. See what... Uh, the engine does. Pawn moves up. Pawn moves up. Now, why did I do that? Oh, I want to be able to um, get a rook to the h file in case of a plan like rook to h8 and pawn to h4. Bishop hits the queen. Queen moves. Rook moves. Queen moves again. Pawn hits the rook. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Queen moves. Pawn goes up. King moves towards the centre. 
As the piece is coming off, we're getting closer to the end game. And it's useful for my king to control these squares on the e file. Takes rook. So, with quite a few exchanges, it's getting closer to a draw. The queens came off, it will be very drawish. So, um, in some ways, I'm helped by having the, um, the number, number of um, pawns being on the same colour as the um, black bishop. Queen moves back, queen goes up. So, black's not doing a lot. I still have to be careful because um, I still lose this game because the uh, Houdini can see a lot of stuff. Okay, so it just looks like a bit of manoeuvring around here. Now, yeah. moving another pawn on black. Okay, so move to pawn on white. Okay, so it looks like um, black's planning to have this break at some point, but it doesn't really achieve that much. Bishop moves back, king moves over. Bishop moves. So I'm just moving backwards forwards, what waiting to see what Black's gonna do. So Black's got a lot of pawns on um Black's on on the same card as my bishop, it's hard for me to get at the base. Bishop does a waiting move. Bishop moves back. So lots of waiting moves here. Though the position that gets a bit more critical later on. Okay, so lots of waiting moves. And finally Black's come up with quite a good plan. Challenge to the bishop. The black bishop being slightly worse than the white one. If I move away, off the diagonal, the bishop's got a, a nice square on e, e4. I could challenge, I guess, with bishop e3, though. But still, I decided to let black exchange bishops. Yeah, possibly, you see, I was trying to draw, it's, it might have been safe to keep the bishops on, given that it's, um, bishop and it's tend to be drawish. But, okay, so bishops are off. But I thought, how am I going to lose this queen in him? I've got to be a bit careful. Now, I did have to be careful here because um, I've got a weakness giving these pawns a backward. If I get some kind of king pawn in, there's a danger the black king will get into here and win this pawn in some cases. So um, that was a drawback of taking towards the centre then following up with the f4 move, which mightn't have been entirely necessary. So... Um, yeah, exchanging queens may be whiskey, which which makes drawing just a little bit harder. Okay, so queen g4. I wanted to defend this in the event of black playing h4. Okay, so lots more waiting around. And I avoid the queen exchange. Black queen gets in, but it's not really of any consequence. He's not going to win any pawns. So after lots of uh, looking around, so Black's moved another pawn because he couldn't make any progress. Of course, I don't want to exchange queens and give him a support pass pawn. And I think what I did now was just sort of uh, move backwards and forwards until the 50 move rule. Oh! Well, at this point, now he's played f5. I'm not so worried about him playing. Um, into a king pawn in it. I still have to be a bit careful. Okay, so more blocking it up. Hardly seems like a winning attempt. Okay, and um, we just keep going. Oh, now. Black still has a pawn break with h4, but really is not going to get anywhere. So, okay, where's the draw? Okay, so, well, the story is you can play somebody or something that sees a lot more than you can by keeping the position balanced and and uh, steady and solid. Okay, thank you for watching.